Fundamentally, scientific study relies on making measurements. Chemistry is no different, and in fact, this semester, we're going to spend a lot of time in the lab making measurements and using those measurements to deduce things about the natural world. When we make a measurement, we obtain a number or a magnitude for how much of, of a particular thing we have. We also have an uncertainty in that measurement. That is, if we measure the same thing multiple times, we're not going to get exactly the same answer every time, the same magnitude every time. And the spread in those values that we measure tells us how certain we are of our measurement. And thus, that's the uncertainty in the measurement. In addition, each measurement that we make um, has particular units associated with it. The units of a measurement tell us what type of measurement we're making. So for instance, if I wanted to measure the distance between two points, I would use a ruler, and that distance measurement would be in terms of centimeters or meters or inches or some other um, unit of distance. If I was trying to measure the volume of liquid that I was going to use to make, make a cake or perhaps to do a, make a mixed drink, I would use a cup measure or some sort of measure that holds volume. And the measurement would be in terms of volume units like teaspoons or liters or quarts or cups. If I wanted to measure the temperature of something, I would use a thermometer. And that measurement would have units that were um, in terms of degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, Kelvin, etc. any different um, unit of temperature. If I wanted to measure the mass of something, so if I want to know how much I weigh, I would step on a scale and I would measure my mass. That number, would have units that have um, th for mass, which could be pounds or ounces or kilograms or grams. So you can see that there are multiple different units for every type of measurement. And so if we don't specify what units we've, we've done that measurement in, then the magnitude doesn't really tell us anything without knowing what those units are. One of the most important parts of a measurement are the units. So as we can see, if we want to measure this pencil, the length of this pencil, in centimeters, so this scale is in centimeters, we would find that the pencil is eight long. However, if we wanted to measure the length of this pencil, but we used this scale down here, we would find that the pencil is actually three and, um, let's see, this is half, so this is a quarter, so this is an eighth, so that's a sixteenth, so three and three sixteenths long. So if I measure it with this scale, I get three and three sixteenths, but if I measure it with the scale up here, I get eight. Does that mean that the pencil has changed length? Clearly it hasn't. So these have to be the same number. And the difference, the reason the magnitude is different is because the units are different. So if I don't tell you that this is eight centimeters and that this is three and three sixteenths inches, then the number that I give you doesn't make any sense at all. So in this course, it is going to be very, 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 very important that you put the units on every number that you write.